After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. Destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Kona. Thousands of years ago, long after the oceans drank the gleaming city of Atlantis, there was an age undreamed of when mythical kingdoms spread across the uncharted world like mantles beneath the stars. The Hyborian Age, a time of superstition and myth, when sorcerers cast evil spells and fantastic creatures stalked the earth, a time when the many were ruled by the few. In this world lived an adventurer destined to be its king, a man in whose veins flowed the blood of ancient Atlantis. He is a Sumerian, Born on the battlefield, strengthened by time and trial. He is Conan. Master. Don't think. Just go out in the hall and wait. And now. Go! dream. The warrior. What about the warrior? It's ordained that the warrior will be king of Samaria. I am the king of Samaria. You will be slain by a descendant of Atlantis who carries the Greek blade. Slain? Slain? Who talks about slain? How can I avoid such wild rumors? You can find the chosen one and kill him before he kills you. Mm, good thinking. But how am I supposed to know who he is? He will be of pure Sumerian blood, and he will bear the sword of Atlantis that you see in your dreams. You will provide enough meat to get me to Tiberia. Almost a dead one. No, I am a woman. You're right. Almost a dead woman. Why did you steal my meat? You don't look underfed. My village is hungry. How can they be hungry? This is rich land. 
Yes, but we attacked by Hisazul. His soldiers took most of our crops. The men of my village are farmers. They're not hunters. Why should I feed your village? The people of your village wouldn't feed me, a stranger. Well, some would and some wouldn't. But if you let me keep that hindquarter, I would prepare you a fine meal. I'll go get the things for my camp. Well, don't waste your time looking for the rest of that steer. Why? It's already uh, back at the village. How? Well, while you chased me, some friends stole the rest of your kill. So I'm a guest of my own meal, whether I like it or not. You will like it. You're strong. Well, is that important to you? Not to be weak is more important. Why do you always bring him with you? Why do you keep him around? If you do not grasp the powers of magic, General Goroth, it will be the death of you. Perhaps, my lord, I would grasp it. You gave me some powers of my own. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Do we still control the Sumerians? You rule them. Do I control them? They are a barbarous lot. How would you know? You never fight. I have. They are as tough as the roots of the oldest trees, my lord. I only wish you to find one man amongst them and dispose of him. That should present no great challenge, my lord. He is a man of great strength and power, much larger than you, General Goroth, and he wields a huge blade, a close relation of the blades of the lost country of Atlantis. Such blades have not been seen in my lifetime, my lord. I would much prefer that this one would not be used by anyone else but you, General. It would be my pleasure, my lord. And here is a droid. What do you want of me? Get rid of the little rat, or I will do it for you. Oddly wait in the hall. But you don't yes. Do as I say. Hmm? Search the villages in your region for the man. Feed your men with the supplies of the other villages. General Goroff will show you how. We will follow Gorin. If any of his men find the Sumerian, they will send for him. Is that what Hisazul wants? Don't worry about what Hisazul wants. If Gorath gains more power than me, we will be dust. Keep up! Or I will leave you for the dogs to chew on. One never knows. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Listen all. Let's raise our cups high. This wonderful barbarian who supplied us with a feast. <laughs> And with our cups even higher to the beautiful Tamara. Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah, and yeah. cooking skills and giving us this wonderful taste. Uh, 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 God, yeah. oh. Oh. 
You have quite an appetite. I traveled a great distance. And how many piles of bones did you have in front of you to get this far? Many. What he wants to know is where you came from. Only he wants to know. Well, we all do. I'm... I do. I come from Sumeria to the northwest. You traveled a long, long way through Amaria, Bathrunia, and Numidia. And Singara and Ophia. Oh, that's where Azazul has great power. His evil sorcery is known in many lands. So you came here and ran away from him? I do not run from anyone. Since I became a free man, something pulls me to move on. How could anyone enslave you? They attacked my village when I was a child. They killed most of the people and took the children. And you became a slave? I was a prisoner, never a slave. I learned of cruelty and hunger. I survived with the help of a blade. And now I am following a destiny I do not yet understand. And it drew you here to our village? Huh. You stole my food. That's what drew me here. Huh. You would never stay in a village like this, would you? No. I've never been beyond. What is it like out there? Sometimes dangerous, but filled with wonder. Is there no beauty? There's always some beauty. Do you think that I belong in a village like this? If you leave, there would be no beauty here at all. Looking for a sword, a great sword with rubies in the hilt. A Sumerian carries it. I have seen no such sword. Perhaps this will help your memory. such great strength, you have a very gentle touch. And for such a Savvari, you have a hard head. <laughs> you fight well. You admire my strength? You're like steel wrapped in silk. And you think I'm beautiful? Hmm. He said so, so you cannot deny it. By crumb, that is the truth. Then my sons would be beautiful too. Could you imagine me bearing your sons? Lately, I can imagine many things. Hmm, I 
never put a woman to sleep before. Hmm. Barbarian, the one we seek. I do not know. I did not get to see his sword. So, you were run off by this barbarian with a bunch of farmers. Defeated by a pack of farmers. You have disgraced my army. You should have died in battle. Turn around. Let fly! How he shows courage. We ride at dawn. I want no farm. No hut, no cart, not even a miserable bucket left intact. We'll grind that village, every last farmer, and the barbarian into dust, and scatter it to the four winds! waiting outside. Is he leaving us? No. He said he spent the night with you and he didn't get any sleep at all. Okay. Tell me he didn't do anything. Shame on you for peeking into Shadow's Gove. Being shameless is a privilege of the old. Oh. <laughs> Come out and meet as quick as you can. You have succeeded in being shameless. I hope so. Here, I'll show you. Before you came, the soldiers never even attacked us. They took the food and went. They didn't take away our hunger. Is our soul told us when to live, when to die? You think that's fair? He gives us water, wind, and sun. The forces of nature are not controlled by one man. Is our soul is a ruthless man. He wrote me once. Now I am free. You can leave this village. And go where? All the land is under the same rule. We cannot fly away to another world. Listen to me. He's a soul. He's a wizard. One of the worst of the kind. He surrounds himself by beauty, but that's just a ploy. He's one of the worst wizards of all wizards. I do not like wizards and what they do. I will remember what you said. Listen to me. I... I had a dream the other night. You took his hair of Sul, and you killed him with your great blade. And you became king. I do not wish to be king. You can't avoid it. Try to talk to them first. You talk to them. Samira, you go with the men to the big hut. No, Conan. You no. go with the men to the big hut. No! No, Conan! No! <sighs>
killed! No! Soon enough. I hate secrets, especially ones I don't know. Shut up! Bring a circle! I'm not king. You will be. You are so very beautiful. Sooner, use quicker magic next time. Ride with him in the back. Will you ride with the beautiful girl? Get in the cart. Where do you think you're going? She will make a fine servant, and he will make a fine slave. This the barbarian I am searching for? He is not. He doesn't have the sword. Show him, Otley. I go to finish the killing. But I warn you, Yara, if you are deceiving me, I will find you. You have threatened me before, General. I am still here. Let me go! Where is Conan? Domestic problem? She's a village girl. She's having trouble adjusting to the fine clothes. If she becomes too... Problematic. I would be happy to take her off your hands. And she wouldn't have to worry about the clothes. Do what I pay you for. But this amount of gold, I would test your warrior in the ring of death myself. 
put your best against him. You do not get the gold back if we kill him. If your warriors kill him, I will give you the girl. <laughs> no, Zeban, he does not like the chains. But what man does, huh? <laughs> Where am I? Morgus compound. Where the food is slop, but thankfully the portions are small. <laughs> Tamira! Where's the girl that was with me? Why don't you speak? He does not speak. He is mute. I know nothing of a girl and would prefer not knowing the men I may have to kill. I doubt that. I don't stay healthy keeping people alive. Then why don't you kill your captors? We are trained to fight and kill each other every day. That does not lead to unity. is there, my dear. Where is Conan? He will be out soon. It's not needed. Come on! 
was a good plan for a barbarian. Now that we no longer have to kill each other, I am Volkar, he is Zebin. What was that for? You hit me on the head with the axe handle. You looked away. He wants to know where we go now. I'm going after Tamir. Where is she? I don't know. I do. Tell me where she is. I will show you. Just tell me. What would that accomplish? Am I a trophy you would be proud of? No, but I wouldn't have to waste time playing games with you. Then you would not find your woman. I can help you. Why would you leave your master, Yara? Because I want no master. Just because I'm small does not mean I'm not a man. I feel, I hope, I live. I am not a toy to be used and beaten at the whim of a madman. You change sides too quickly. A lifetime is not too quickly. You use me, I use you. A partnership of convenience. <laughs> I can find her without you. Not if you do not know where you're going. There are other people who know where Yara is. They will not tell you. They'll be too afraid. You never know when he'll use a, a tree or, or a bird or a rock for spying. Or you. If you lead me into a trap, you will be the first one to die. Or the last. Who kills me is of little concern. We can also go with you if you need us. No. I'll go alone. Hey, what am I? You're only a guide. To lead me. Agreed. Perhaps we should follow him. <laughs> you speak quite clearly, my friend, and with wisdom. And Raina sold me to Yara. I don't know why she did that. I was always loyal. There's never been a question of my loyalty. You don't talk much, do you? You talk too much. No such thing as talking too much. Words are how men communicate. When they don't talk, they have misunderstandings, and then they wind up killing each other. Men talk with swords. The world is becoming a civilized place, my friend. It no longer matters who has the biggest sword. What? What is it? Where are you going? That's not the way to Yara's castle. It is a way we must go.
If you take that sword, we could have trouble. He's dead. The sword is mine. I'm gonna die in here, aren't I? Only if you choose to. I knew this wasn't a good idea. More caves, okay? Now you know why I hate caves. Fog and rivers and all sorts of things. I don't know why we went in there in the first place. I told you. I was led there by some force. It was this sword. I am the sword. It is my symbol. I am Krom. This is more sorcery. I do not understand. This is your god. I know no magic, only the true power. I have led you to the Sword of Atlantis, and it is yours. The mummy has guarded it for centuries and has fulfilled his duty. You wanted me to kill him? He was dead already. You wasted no life. It was the test that started at your birth. All your pain and hardships have been a test. My mother and father died to test me? Are you? I am their god also. They are now on this side with me. I needed a great warrior to right the wrongs. You are that warrior. Trust the sword. Grip it as you would whip my arm. Then trust your next thought. It will light your path. It will be with you. Your parents are very proud of you.